Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the most difficult trading card games to get into, unless you know where to begin. Starting from absolutely nothing and a budget of £40 per week, we set out on a fresh journey to climb our way to the top tables of competitive play. To make the journey even harder, there's going to be a series of obstacles in our way. Not only are we restricted to sealed official product, but certain items like Structure Decks and Dual Devastator are off-limits and locked behind a number of challenges. Join us as we prove ourselves to be a true duelist and turn this into a competitive monster. You're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch, Challenge Mode. <laughs> Welcome back to episode Dry and Svansig of your favorite <laughs> weekly show. This is actually going live while I'm away on holiday, so apologies in advance if there's any, you know, rushed editing. We've been making some real nice progress recently. Just last week we managed to not only pull the Herald, that we originally wanted, but we also managed to pull a Savage and figure out a new potential combo line. On top of that, we also got a flawless episode last time, so we're really close to getting that positive overall series record. Coming today, we tried to get the final piece and make our hidden combo a reality, and then we're gonna pop back to locals and hopefully continue the wreckage. Of course, before we do dive into the goo though, we got a couple of people here who have made some very irresponsible financial decisions and chucked a shilling or two towards the channel. So a loving Melfi Meow and Bork goes out to Toxicity Zero, Mohammed Azjid and Logan C823. Thank you guys so much. Your contributions through Patreon and YouTube channel memberships are pushing us a step towards the next big equipment upgrade coming soon hopefully so it's much appreciated and if you watching also want to make a contribution you know where the links are now today's budget is back down to the vanilla 40 pound but it is just a common we need so hopefully 40 pound is enough hopefully we don't end up needing more as for our challenges just a couple of extra bits needing done now I am gonna renovate the challenge section soon once we complete all of these to make it a bit more interesting so stay tuned for that but yeah last season we were in a similar position trying to pull a common Crusadia Spatha from Megatins. Funny how once again it all comes full circle. But uh, I'm gonna need your luck points on this one to get our combos going, so give the like button a little tickle, will ya? Go on! Boys! And girls, and non-binaries, we don't discriminate around here. Today is the day to complete our obedience schooled combo. We need one card, and that is a measly common. Surely, we are going to be playing a combo deck to some extent by the end of this. So £40 spent. <laughs> two Megatons. We need one common. How many Megatons have we opened so far? Like two or three? We haven't pulled the common we're looking for. We have to go all out, man. We have to make it happen. So we have two Megatons today. Literally, the common's all we want. And as you've seen in our combo demonstration last time, Another Nadir would be really, really nice. Or, I mean, another Ecclesia would also be nice. But in that case, we would need to pull Omega. So Dual Overload would then be on the cards, man. If we pull the common today, we can finally move on and start doing some more exciting products and tings. So, let's get into it. No change today. We'll just start with one of these. Why not? Why not? We might as well. What do we have? Captain Roland, Nexus, Nurgal, Theo... Ah, <sighs> Magalanica, the Deep Sea City, Card Captures, Horn, Punishment, and Spiral. So a uh, Triple Tactics, Ecclesia, and the Deer is all I'm really looking for out of here. Droplets, I mean, we actually haven't pulled a droplet at all yet, which is actually quite interesting. Still haven't really thought about whether we could use it or not, but hey, it's not what we're after. So we don't really care. Not gonna lie, at the rate we're going, we're, <laughs> we're probably... A lot more likely to pull Dragoon than the actual flying bunny hop your squadron, but we'll see. We'll see. Also, Phantasme is in here, so that's also kind of cool. Um, so let's just dive in, I guess. I'm eager. I'm eager to get these combos going because that savage combo is so sick, dude. All right. So sub terror succession. We have a Salmon Great Wolvy Sunlight Wolf again. We got we've got like two rarities of that. Uh, Eskrim my Menchi, <laughs> a little butt plug, Promenesis, damn, still don't have it. We got a thick booty gorilla, very nice, and Astra Ghouls for our super rares here. Where's the bulk? Put the bulk over there. Uh, we also have Evil Eye Defeat, oh my god! <laughs> Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess, damn dude. This is actually really good, that's actually really good. 
yo, we need this for, um, I mean, if we do, like, bird up plays in the future, if, that's a big if, but at, <laughs> yo, we have the Apaloza, let's go. Uh, Gizmek Yata, okay, so this is great already. We're pulling everything good except the common. Um, all right. And then get in. <gasps> yo, oh my god, I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking, we got it. <laughs> oh, what a fucking pack, man. What a fucking pack. Oh shit, dude, it's happening. It's happening. Today, we dominate. Today, oh my god, Obedient Schooled, best card in the game. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. First fucking pack, we don't need these anymore. Okay. Okay, dude, whatever. If I could sub them out, I would, but I think that just goes against the rules of what we're doing here. Melfi Fanny, we got Mogus, Nexus, Theo, and Raid Raptor, Arsenal, Falcon. Uprising Jar, Scarecrow, and Discharge. All right, well, let's see if we can get a Dragoon, <laughs> I guess, just for like the bants. Uh, Guard Dragon Shield, Connector, Reincarnation, Mardark, we got Bigfoot, giving a little yoink on the strings. Time Thief, Flyback, another Astragals. Wow, Whitefish, Salvage. For the supers, we also have Witchcrafter, Pottery. Look at the little bubbles, dude. Yo, we got the Pringles, man. Let's go. Uh, we got Valkyrie, Sex, and another <laughs> Unchained Abomination. We have like two of these now, I think. Uh, oh my god, how many gurus? We got a guru in literally every fucking tin, man. Uh, Tunneler, Glimmer, <laughs> yep. Awesome. Let's go for another one. Let's go for another one. We got Morge Lag. Got a... Uh, you know, smack them with the handle. Cliffhanger, Promenesis, Speed Burst, Wolvi, Adhara, not actually that bad of a card. Speed Lift for our first super along with Borrowload, X Charge Dragon. We got Infinitrack Harvester and Storm Dragon's Return for the Ultras and World Legacy Guard Dragon. Prismatic Secret Rare. Let's go, dude. We're uh, we're getting there towards Dragon Link. We have the Savage, we have the Guard Dragon. Jesus Christ, dude. Final light, burning shells, a Torix, a Shuna, Ocean, Dozer, and Hydro Pump. All right, uh, Rise of the Duelist. What do we have? We have a Vespacito, Fluffle Dolphin, Captain Roland, Nergal, and Joyous. Damn it. Damn it. Three supers so far out of the Rise of the Duelist. Horn, Reborn, Card Captors, and Spiral Fusion. At least give us a Phantasme, please. Here we have Hita, Violet Chimera, you're in danger. We got the T-Rex there, not been printed into a card yet. Marshall Anga, we got Draw Hand, Valkyrie Funft, Funfde. Getting into the supers, we have Abyssalatia and Time Thief Winder, Evil Eye Domain, Paradolia, and Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mecha Thunder King for the Ultras. And we have a Guard Dragon LP for the secret. Dude, literally a Guard Dragon core. This is literally a Dragon Link starter pack. Uh, Monoceros, we got Glimmer, Martial Ampello, Spiritual Entanglement, Cascade, Desert Locusts, part of the combo, let's go, and Berserker of the Tenny. Okay, Phantasme, please. Exceeds the Dolphin, we got Hyper Psychic Riser, Sea Star, Foxer, we got Trickstar Fusion there, Subterror Succession to go with our fucking Subterror deck, Unchained Soul of Disaster. And Wailing of the Unchained Souls for our supers. We have Witches Strike number two. Okay, that's handy. That um that helps us go for the challenge. And we have Fortress Mega Clops and Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god! Another fucking savage! Another fucking savage. Holy fuck, dude. I mean, you can pop that out, I guess. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Oh, these pools, these pools are insane. We got Virte, Transcendence, Flawless Perfection, <laughs> Perfection, Vishuda, Dragon Cycle, Namota, Nahada. You know, just a bunch of tenny stuff. All right, uh, we'll end on the Rise of the Duelist. I feel like Rise of the Duelist has the most potential for entertainment here. Uh, all right, so we got another yellow dolphin, chocolate petting accessory, <laughs> core awakening. We got Adhara, time thief flyback, and Drake. Going into the supers, we have bye bye damage and thick gorilla booty. So uh, no phantasmi for us, and we are done with the megaton. So we're never gonna pull a super rare phantasmi. We have successor soul. Can we get a dragoon? No, we cannot. We have a Starly Seifer. It's literally a Dragon Link starter pack. <laughs> oh my 
god. We got like every fucking s oh man. Okay, right, we're playing the season one deck again. And we got another LP, wow, okay. Two LPs in one opening, very cool, very nice. Uh, Testament, Drag Shovel, Gatoble Pa. We got another Tunneler, Monk of the Tanyi, Confrontation, and Phoenix. All right, final pack. Is it gonna be a fourth super rare? Or are we going to get blessed? Starting off with Melfi Rabi, that is a good start. Up on his favorite stump, looking around for some friends. For the little chinchilla, where's it at? Fight for Cruel Will, Captain Roland, Vespinato. <sighs> Me? Oh no! Are you? Oh, I, holy fuck! Holy fuck! Hol oh my god! Oh my! I don't. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck? I. How? How? Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit, I <laughs> I did not expect that. Holy fuck, dude. All right, we're, oh shit, shit, son. Windy boy did evil, playhouse junk sleep. We're finally lucky. Our luck is back. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. I don't know what to say. I literally don't know what to say. Oh my God. Tier one. No, nope. tier zero. Tier zero. That opening was actually unbelievable, dude, but after a bunch of Mega Tins in total, we finally have our Hop Here Squadron, and therefore, all of the necessary pieces to combo off. So it's time for some spring cleaning. Alright, round one at Locals here today, we get paired up against a very good hero player, but we do win the dice roll and of course get to go first. After attempting to bait an Ash with Tanky and Foolish, I then fire off the Obedient Schooled, but of course, there she is, in all of her fuck you glory. So normal summoning the Fractal that we picked up off the Foolish play, we banish two and summon out the Double Dragon Lords, but uh, Phantasma gets activated in hand, which does force my Ash, because otherwise it just completely destroys my board. Passing turn on a singular bounce, it's just not enough to do anything against heroes, especially when they have E-Call and a hero lives. So we get dicked on, and a fat OTK comes our way. I will be going second. Oh, you'll be going second? Yeah, you can go first. <laughs> okay, that's a move. Good luck, man. Good luck, have fun. I will activate Paris. It's counting when issues. Sure. Paris effect. Uh, yep. Increase effect. Yep. And increase effect again. Oh, no Ash Blossom. That's good. No Ash Blossom. Vion effect. Vion is fine. Sending to graveyard Shadow Mist. And I activate the effect of Shadow Mist. Okay. I will add Liquid Soldier. Vion effect again. I will add Foreign Position. Cross Crusader, declare effect. Uh, yep. Targeting malicious. Cross Crusader again. Searching for hero. Yep. Stratus. I will normal summon the Stratus, declare effect. Okay. And that's the gold. Sure. Of which I activate the effect. Uh, yeah. Dark Calling. I will activate Polymerization. Liquid and Stratus to summon Sunrise, Seer. And chaining one liquid, chaining two Sunrise. I will add Miracle, draw two. I will discard. Let's see. I will set one, set two, and pass. Uh, the back row. Cross Crusader is doing nothing. Sunrise isn't doing anything either, unless an attack is declared. So just the two back row. How many in hand? Four in hand. Four in hand. Uh, okay, right. Draw for turn. Yep. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I'll activate Obedient Schooled. Ah. Ash. Ash on the Obedient Schooled. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Normal summon Bunny Blast. Summon Dryden. I will go Dryden Effect and I will target the Sunrise. Okay. Adios. Adios. <laughs> I'll summon Vespinato. Vespacito. Vespacito, exactly. And. Uh, activate Nadir. Oh, I will chain uh, Mass Change on the cross. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. 
It's unfortunate. <clears throat> Still in main phase, I'll go triple tactics and look at your hand. I didn't activate any effect, actually, I guess. Oh no, Ash, right. Yeah. Sure. Okay, I have Vion, Dark Calling, and Miracle. No Honest Neo, so that's fine. Uh, we'll nope. get rid of... Shuffle back Dark Calling, I guess. Okay, makes sense. And then I will go Battle Phase. Okay, fine. Punch for Ooh. 100. Adios. And Oops. increasing graveyard effect. Uh, sets itself, right? Yeah, since I take, I've taken damage. Yeah, that's if fine. You me, that, Johnson. that is fine. I will go main two. I will set two. Oh. And pass turn. So, um, in case you haven't noticed already, I misplayed so hard on that turn and threw away my OTK. The game basically ended as soon as I activated Nadir Servant into the mask change. If I had instead activated Triple Tactics Talent and taken our opponent's only monster, then Nadir would have been able to fully resolve, popping the back row with an Entis and then searching for Ecclesia, which gets the Fleur de Lys, and that's over 8,000 damage into an empty board. Instead, we end up going into a pretty long grind game and then this happens. Gold effect. You're activating gold. Um, I will chain Desert Locusts to Synchro Summon. Synchro Summon, yeah, fine. <laughs> Draco Berserker. Draco Berserker, okay. <laughs> yeah. Adding Dark Calling. Yep. I guess I have to add, to add the Draco. So, wait. Uh, what's the attribute? Uh, it's Dark. Oh. Super Poly. Game 2, we once again win the die roll, this time against Go Second Crusadia, and we're going first. Our hand's a little awkward, but Foolish gets us to Keras, which we special summon alongside a normal summon to Kalantosa, which allows us to end on double Dragon Lords and Joyous Malfis. A pop, a bounce, and a back row. We get Kaijut, and Crusadia power makes my bounce useless, so we get one punched by Aquamax. Game 2, going first, we start with a Fractal, and basically find ourselves in a similar position, ending on just a double Dragon Lords, a Keras, and a Catty. This time our bounce gets Kaijut, so all we're left with is a Her Herald off the Hopier from the Catty, which does slow our opponent a little, but doesn't stop them getting to the Equimax, but thankfully, we actually survived this time. Going into our third turn, Dryden and Alpha clear the board, and then from there we're able to come back and control the game. I'm going first. Yes. Right. Yes. Good luck. Yes, Have both. fun. There's a certain combo I want to pull off today, but I'm not getting it. I'll activate Nadir. Mm, no, fuck that. Joyous. Oh, uh, better than Ash. Uh, of course. Kind of expected that. Let's be real. I'll go with triple tactics. Draw two. Come on. Are you serious? What? <laughs> two Kalantosa. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'll set one and end phase activate puppy. Okay. <laughs> I hate puppy. <laughs> Puppy's Leave too me busy. alone. All right, go on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna draw. Yep. Sent by main. Yep. Normal summon skipping. Uh, I'll activate the puppy. Bye bye, Skippy! Your turn. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you hit his normal summon, he just cries and dies. I don't know, it's sad. So, uh, well, I just do a half cut. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Draw for turn. Oh my god, I don't want to see that now. Stand by main. So, yeah. you, know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking of keeping the ash for, you know, the puppy, but then I, you know. Mm. The is too much. Normal summon puppy. Flip summon Nerval. Link the puppy and the Nerval away for Ferajit. Activate Nerval Eight. effect. One good boy. Keras. Activate Keras. Discard puppy to special. Okay. Damn, can't believe you're killing them. <laughs> They're only in the grave temporarily, okay? They come back. That's what they all say. Karas effect, I'll banish two for cost. Double Dragon Lords. Overlay for Joyous. And I will go Battle Phase. Sure. 16, 32, 52 <gasps> in total. I will pass turn. I'm going to the turn. Sent by main. Yep. I'm dead anyway. No summon Arborea. Malfi's effect. <laughs> yeah. And there's Oop. I bounce it too. Boom. Uh, <laughs> GG's. Yeah, I, I, had, I had like a. Um, no, I top decked that. Nadir, triple tactics, puppy, Nerval, hedgehog. So, activate Nadir, get ashed. Okay, activate triple tactics, draw into fucking. Triple tactics number two and another puppy. Fuck my life. Dude, <laughs> like that hand plus the top decks are worth more than Lash's deck times three. The only value my deck has is Ash. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ash is like really oh, really? again. Round three, we're paired against Prank Kids for the first time in this series, where we again win the die roll and get to go first. Starting off with a Nadir for Ecclesia, we search the floor and we're pretty much forcing a control grind here, ending on a puppy and two back row as well. Pancratops is kind of a pain for us to deal with, but we do have plenty of responses that just stop the Prank Kids combos completely, eventually leading to us taking the game once we can get Fleur to threaten the Pank. First or second, my friend? First, I will go. Cool. All right, good I'll luck, go have fun. Here. You too, man. Uh, activate Desires. Uh, good card, yeah, that's fine. Very nice card sometimes, very horrible card other times. <laughs> True. One time I banished all my Pandemonium, so I was kind of sad. Yikes. <laughs> Draw two. Uh, Is that good or bad? <laughs> I mean, oh, God. It, it depends, it depends. I'll uh, set that, that, and that. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can, uh, yeah, you can go. <laughs> wow, alright. What the hell is going on here? Definitely a little bit scared now. I'll draw for turn. Sure. Stand by main. Yeah. I will normal summon wrap here and activate effect if the summon is okay. Woo! Judgment. The summon. Judgment. Yeah. Oh. Hello? Yeah, my, my Discord ah. froze for a second there. I was hoping it didn't ah, okay, fucking... okay. Uh Judgment, the summon. Uh, yeah. That do be kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Ah, good stuff, good stuff. No. I'll set one in the middle and set a second before passing turn. Okay. Hopefully I get to play now, please. I'll draw. Yep. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Okay, uh, I'll just set another one and pass. What is this game? I, don't, I have no <laughs> idea. It's like, I have like an 80% chance to draw one kid. Uh, just that's just not happening, even through desires. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> you banish them all. <laughs> I mean, not even. No, I banished a few, but. Uh, all right, draw for turn. Yes, sir. Oh my God! Stand by main. Sure. I will normal summon Whiptail. Uh... <laughs> Judgment number two? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I feel so bad. Yeah, Judgment oh, number two. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, go I'm just gonna lose to. I mean, judgmenting too much. Go on, judgment number three. Let's go. Um, yep, pass turn. <laughs> yes, sir. Draw. Yep. Okay, let's see if I get to play. Uh, prank his place for the search. Place is a good card. That's fine. Oh, let's go. I need to recover some life points here. Let's loop dropsies. Uh, get dropsies. Uh, yeah, that's that's the win con right now. <laughs> Normal summon dropsies. On the summon. Sure. I'll go punishment target dropsies. Come on, man. No. <laughs> no. Just judgment number three. Easy. Dropsies. I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. Nice. That um, oh, what do I sand here? I'm locked out of the extra deck on my next turn, so I will sand Titanoclad. Past turn. <laughs> End phase Titanoclad? Question mark? Yes, sir. Ooh, okay. Special summon Ecclesia. Activate Ecclesia effect. I signed it out my other punishment. God damn it. Add Fleur. Draw for turn. Oh, I keep saying that at the worst time. Stand by main. <laughs> yes, sir. I will go Ecclesia to attack. Really, really. S uh, mm, do I go for the game shot? It's so dumb. Fuck it. Normal yeah. summon Bunny Blast. Uh, I will activate. There can be only one. Just. Uh... Uh, all right, I'll remind me, I can only control one type or I can only control one of each type? Uh, you can only control one monster of each type. Okay, so that's fine. Battle phase question mark? Please don't let it be like this. <laughs> uh, so I don't have anything else to say about that. Yep, yep. Go for it, go for it. 15 direct? Yep, yep. So 500 left? Yep, yep, yep. Bunny blast for game? <laughs> I'm so sad about this. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, I have nothing, I have nothing. <laughs> what is your back row? I, another There Can Be Only and uh, Super Poly. Oh my god. Which I wanted to side out, but I didn't really have anything good in my side deck against this deck. So I just kind of kept it for no reason. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Uh, I'm so sad about this. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I've done bunny blasts per game like twice now. What the fuck? Uh, MVP work nicer. <laughs> True, hell yeah. Wow, Damn. good game, good game. Yeah, good games, man. This takes us to our fourth and final round at table two. 
against Nibiru, of all people. If we get the win, there is a very good chance that we finally finish in the top three, and Nibiru is playing Marincess. How he got Marincess to table two, I have no idea, but our fucking magic ass dice wins us the roll for the fourth time in a row today, so we're going first. Starting with a Foolish, we get dumpstered by an Ash Blossom, leaving us to go straight to the end phase, and summon out both our Catty and Paparino. Nibiru starts by firing off a Cyanet Mining, searching for Blue Tang, where on summon, we're gonna trigger both our Malfi effects, grabbing a Kalantosa to pop the Mermaid, and a hop here for a potential Herald if we need it. Thankfully, Nibiru just sets two and passes before flipping Gozen match in the standby phase. We don't care about it too much, summoning a Zoo to the field, we go into the Dryden, which does get hit with a Strike unfortunately, so Nibiru goes down to 6,500 life points, and we're forced to go to the end phase again, tossing our pets onto the field, where Nibiru just draws and passes. Top deck and the Deer Servant just straight up wins the game, popping Gozen with Dentis and clearing Nibiru's life points with our waifus. You do do what? Remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe of power. What power? Power of voodoo. Who do you do? The fuck was that? Alright. <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck did I just do? One, two... <laughs> what you three, just did? Three, four... I guess. Let's go with that. Alright, I'ma uh, go second. <laughs> You're going second? I'm trying. What the fuck? I thought this was Marincess. Yeah, it is. Okay. S sure. Um, wow. How did this happen? Normal summon a Whiptail. You just brick! I'll go Dryden. It's not necessarily a brick. But I will set to and pass. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? This ain't full combo. Fuck, this ain't nine interruptions. You know what? Fuck you, I, I will set one pass. Wait, really? Yeah! Did you even draw for turn? Yes, I did. So you have, have five cards in hand? Yes, I have five cards in hand. Like you see here, get Nova for five more subs. I appreciate you're, you're, it a lot. You're genuinely setting one pass. I'm setting one pass! Alright, draw for turn. Yes. What the fuck, dude? Can we stop breaking, please? Um... Surely you sighted out goes in uh duster duster yeah okay i feel like that was a fat waste but we'll see fuck it we're going for the wasp vespacito i will uh, go battle phase um, okay 25 25 yeah Ooh. okay okay, okay. So oh. five five main two yep uh oh shit do you play duster is the question do i play into the duster i'm gonna play into the duster there we go Set one pass. Right. I'm on draw. God, Duster, I dare you. Normal summon Pascalis. Pascalis. No effect on summon, right? No effect. Her effect is summon one more from hand. If this card is normal or something. Wait, you are activating that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, punishment. Target Pascalis. Sand doesn't cost, so I was waiting for your permission. Sand Titanoclad. You still special right. from hand, though. Huh? You still get to special from hand. I do, yeah. And that is a... What is that? Mandarin. Mandarin. If you control two or more, it's special. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not doing anything. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to just uh, activate Cold Buy on your Titana Clad and pass. Activate that again. Yeah, I activate Cold Buy on your Titana Clad. All right, well... well. Uh, which column would you like to activate that Cold Buy in? In the <laughs> most, like, I <I'm>, think <laughs> that's the rightest one. Yeah, I'm taking a piss. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I literally placed it down on the right. <laughs> Cold by on the Titanoclad is actually kind of sad. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. That. That's fine, yeah. I will draw for turn. <laughs> that's a good draw. What do you mean zone moving? I placed it on the right. Fuck Stand off, by main. I will um, normal summon Ecclesia. Activate effect. <gasps> Ash. You're ashing the Ecclesia. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Triple tactics, draw two. Yeet. Yeet. This card is also worth more than my entire deck. True, fam. Activate Tanky. So the press that I'm doing bad against you and did well against everyone else. Yeah, you know it happens. No, it never happened to me that I do bad with Marinces against you. I always won. <laughs> yeah, on camera maybe. Anytime off camera, I fucking destroyed you. And that was with my like episode three deck or something. That's true though. <laughs> that is so true. Off camera, you just smash me. On camera, you just suck my ass. Fractal effects. <laughs> uh, yo, chat. Am I locked out the extra deck? Akleisha got ashed, so I don't think I am, right? Uh, uh, you're from punishment, right? Oh yeah, shit. That's right. Sag. Fractal send kit. Kit effect. They blame the gift subs. Yeah, I, I blame the gift subs. Send Nerval. Nerval fine. effect. All, all fine. All fine. Add Keras. 
Mm -hmm. Already normal summoned. Yep, we have yep. 55. How much damage is this on board? Not enough. Um, fuck, let me think. You have 100 defense. One card in hand. Two. Two. After the ash. And you have nothing else. So that would be 24. That would be 39. I would need another... I will activate Keras pitching DD Crow to special summon. Yes. Special summon that and attack. I will go battle phase. Alright. Punch battle with Vespinato for 2 4. So that's 3 1. I'll go 12 direct with Keras. So that's 19. And 15 direct. 15. So I'm on 400. Ecclesia. So you're on 400. Ah, I was so close too. But we're not done here. Ice Dragon's Prison. Give me that Pascalis. Yeah, punch for game, bitch. Ooh. Boom. Does that work? What do you mean, does that work? Yeah, it does, right? Yeah! Oh, nice! Uh, I get bitch slapped by your own mermaid, asshole. Give me that top! Alright, moment of truth. So, a record of 3-1 that gives us 9 points. And for a good point of reference, first place had 10 points. We've been trying to get this locals top for so long, and we're finally on the brink of doing so. So, out of 16 players that entered this week, we came... Damn, so close. So no challenges have been completed today and we didn't even get the pull off our savage combo. But at least our pulls were actually godly and our record was pretty poggin too. So overall, a very nice episode today. Now that we are done with getting our main combo pieces, we can branch out into other products and I already know exactly what I'm opening next time. I guarantee you not a single person can guess exactly what it is. Let me know what you think. Anyway, like I said at the start, I'm currently away on holiday when this goes live, but I will be checking in, you know, reading and replying to comments, etc. Might even come back with some adventure photos in the next one. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching and all of the support as always. Love you all. Subscribe and like video. Thank you. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Do you?